In the year 1492, a new chapter in human history began. With a heart full of ambition and dreams of exploring uncharted waters, Christopher Columbus, an Italian navigator, set sail into what we now call the New World. On the 12th of October, his feet touched the sands of the Bahamas. The world would never be the same again. Today, this historic moment is remembered as Columbus Day, celebrated every second Monday of October. It stands as a symbol of humanity's thirst for adventure and the indomitable courage to face the unknown. But beneath the triumph lies a tale with many layers, one that is as much about conflict as it is about discovery. Christopher Columbus, a determined explorer from Genoa, Italy, tirelessly sought support for his ambitious journey westward. His dream was to find a sea route to the wealthy lands of Asia. He first approached King John II of Portugal, but was met with skepticism. The Portuguese doubted his calculations of the Earth's circumference, and they had already set their sights on finding a path to Asia by sailing around Africa. Undeterred, Columbus sought support from his native Genoa and even sent his brother to England to appeal to King Henry VII, but again, no success. Finally, Columbus found allies in Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain. With their backing, he set out on his historic journey. Yet, yeah, the journey was fraught with peril, navigational challenges, mutinous crews, scarce supplies, and dangerous weather. Columbus overcame these obstacles, but fate had a surprise in store. Instead of Asia, he stumbled upon a vast, unfamiliar land, the Americas. For Europeans, this was a monumental discovery, but for the indigenous peoples who had called this land home for centuries, it was an invasion. Long before Columbus arrived, these lands were inhabited by rich and flourishing civilizations. From the Aztecs and Maya in Central America to the Incas in South America, these people had built vast cities, towering pyramids, and intricate temples. Their cultures thrived across the Americas, from the icy reaches of the Arctic to the southern tip of the continent. In North America, the Mississippian people had settled along the fertile Mississippi River Valley. They were agriculturalists, building massive urban centers like Cahokia with towering earthen mounds used for religious ceremonies. Their world was one of spirituality where nature was alive with divine forces and they traded far and wide with neighboring communities. Columbus's arrival set the stage for European colonization with Spain leading the charge. The world as the indigenous peoples knew it began to crumble under the weight of conquest, migration, and disease. Europeans brought with them not only ambitions for empire, but also deadly germs, smallpox, plague, and other diseases that decimated native populations who had no immunity. The once thriving civilizations began to fade, their cultures eroded, and their lands overtaken. The conquistadors carried out brutal campaigns that wiped out entire communities, what began as an age of exploration soon turned into an era of profound loss for the indigenous people. So, why celebrate Columbus Day? In 1937, President Franklin D. Roosevelt made it a national holiday, partly to honor the heritage of Italian Americans. For them, Columbus represented the triumph of their community on American soil, a man who had opened the door to new possibilities, paving the way for the modern world. But today, Columbus Day is a source of debate, once seen as a day to celebrate a heroic figure, and now sparks difficult conversations about the darker sides of history. For many, Columbus's arrival marked the beginning of immense suffering for Native populations. Whole communities were wiped out by disease and violence. Their way of life forever changed. As awareness grows, more and more people are questioning the celebration of Columbus Day. Some cities in the US, like Denver, Seattle, and Los Angeles, have replaced it with Indigenous Peoples Day, a day to honor the cultures and contributions of Native communities. 
This shift in perspective reflects a broader movement to expand the historical narrative and acknowledge the painful legacy left in the wake of European exploration. Today, Columbus Day is no longer a simple celebration. It has evolved into a moment of reflection, a chance to consider the complexity of history. We are reminded of humanity's relentless drive to explore, but also the consequences of these encounters, both good and bad. How will future generations remember Columbus? Will he be seen as only a conqueror? Or will we recognize the full scope of his impact? Columbus Day now challenges us to ask important questions. Whose story are we telling? And what kind of legacy will we leave behind? In the end, Columbus Day isn't just a day off. It's a moment to look back at our past with clear eyes to see both the light and the shadows, and to learn from them. As we move forward, we carry with us the lessons of history, striving to build a future that honors all its people and their stories.